Welcome to the uproarious world of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, a comedic treasure released in 1963. This film, boasting an ensemble cast, invites audiences on a madcap treasure hunt where chaos and hilarity reign supreme among the cavalcade of characters which once stole your heart with their antics. Have you cherished memories of the first time you encountered this classic? The movie's zany escapades often leave an indelible mark on those who watch, creating moments worth recalling. We'd love to hear your most treasured experiences or memories related to this riotous movie. Share your stories and anecdotes in the comments below. From the uproarious chase for hidden riches to the brilliant performances, this film remains a timeless delight for viewers, eliciting laughs generation after generation. Did you know that It's a Mad, 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 Mad World holds the record for the most comedic actors in a single film? With a stellar ensemble and a plot filled with mayhem and mirth, this movie has secured its place in cinematic history as a hilarious classic. Share your anecdotes and let the laughter echo as we revel in the memories this film has given us. We eagerly await your tales and reminiscences in the comments below. It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, a 1963 film directed by Stanley Kramer, is a comedic treasure that follows the frenzied pursuit of a hidden fortune. The story kicks off with a group of strangers witnessing the dying confession of a thief who divulges the location of $350,000 buried under a big W. This revelation ignites a wild race, as the motley crew, comprising diverse characters played by comedic legends like Spencer Tracy, Milton Berle, and Sid Caesar, embarks on a zany quest to claim the money. The film's essence lies in its relentless, slapstick comedy and the eccentricities of the characters involved each possessing unique quirks and motivations. Its narrative unfolds as a riotous cascade of absurd situations, outlandish chases, and uproarious mishaps, all interwoven with a musical score that amplifies the comical chaos. It's a mad, 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 mad world stands out for its star-studded ensemble cast, an innovative approach employing groundbreaking special effects and stunts for its time. This madcap adventure, a departure from conventional comedy, left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing future comedies, and becoming a classic reference point for ensemble cast capers. Its impact endures through references in various media, and the enduring celebration of its unparalleled comedic legacy. Stanley Kramer's It's a Mad, 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 Mad World the 1963 comedic treasure was not just about the madcap chase for hidden treasure, but also embedded intriguing nods and references within its scenes. One such subtle inclusion occurs during the final car chase scene where Culpepper's car and two cabs race past a theater marquee advertising Cape Fear, a 1962 movie in which Mad World cast member Barry Chase appears. This discreet reference reflects the interconnectedness of the film industry during that era, weaving together the talents and associations of the actors beyond their roles in this iconic ensemble cast. These subtle inclusions add depth and layers to the movie, offering keen-eyed viewers an extra dimension to appreciate beyond the frantic pursuit of the buried fortune. Such intricacies contribute to the movie's lasting legacy and its influence on future comedic endeavors. It's a mad, 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 mad world continues to stand as a hallmark not only for its uproarious plot, but also for its intricate cinematic interconnections, captivating audiences with its multidimensional storytelling. The billboard that the twin-engine Beechcraft flies through in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World was a remarkable stunt. Located in Irvine, the stunt was planned meticulously to prevent the plane from damage. Stunt pilot Frank Tallman had to fly the aircraft directly through the center of the balsa wood billboard, reinforced for support. During the stunt, one engine was stopped and the other sputtered, creating a tense situation as the plane struggled back to the airport. This iconic scene, involving precision and risk, remains one of the memorable highlights of the film, showcasing the audacious stunts of the era. The film It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, released in 1963, initially had a different set of actors intended for the main roles. Stanley Kramer, the director, originally envisioned Milton Berle, Sid Caesar, Phil Silvers, Jackie Gleason, and Red Skelton as the five main characters. However, due to Skelton's constraints with his television series, he could only manage a cameo appearance. A disagreement over salary with Skelton led to his limited involvement in the film. 
the movie underwent several title changes before landing on its final name. Originally titled Where, but in America. It later evolved into one damn thing after another before ultimately becoming It's a Mad World. The gradual addition of Mads to the title reflects the creative evolution and indecision surrounding the movie's branding. Interestingly, Stanley Kramer considered adding a fifth Mad but refrained, later regretting the decision. In terms of distribution and presentation, a significant alteration occurred with the pan, scanned version telecast in 1972. This version, released on VHS in the 1980s and 1990s, cropped nearly half of the original widescreen image into a 1, 37 to 1 format. This mutilation compromised the composition of almost every scene, and frequently omitted or partially eliminated key characters that were prominently featured in the original shots. These aspect changes in casting, title evolution, and alterations in the film's presentation provide an intriguing insight into the behind-the-scenes developments and post-production challenges faced by It's a Mad 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 World. After adjusting for inflation, the $350,000 treasure in the 1963 movie It's a Mad 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 World would be equivalent to $3.1 million in 2021. This significant increase in value showcases the substantial economic contrast between the eras, highlighting the change in purchasing power and monetary worth over time. The treasure's worth, when recalculated for today's standards, underscores the magnitude of the pursued fortune in the film. This vast disparity in value serves as a testament to the evolving economic landscape from the 1960s to the present day, shedding light on the film's portrayal of wealth and the corresponding societal perspectives on affluence during different periods. Stanley Kramer, renowned for his serious films like Inherit the Wind and Judgment at Nuremberg, ventured into creating the ultimate comedy with its a mad, 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 mad world in 1963. His departure from dramatic cinema to venture into the world of slapstick humor was a bold move. The movie gathered a star-studded ensemble cast featuring comedy legends such as Spencer Tracy, Milton Berle, and Sid Caesar. Amid the hilarity on screen, there existed anecdotes behind the scenes. Notably, Phil Silvers, known for his on-screen comedic talents, held regular gambling sessions during the shoot. Described as one of the biggest gamblers by Stanley Kramer himself, Silver's spirited involvement in the crap games was acknowledged by his peers. Milton Berle even mentioned in an interview that Silver's incurred the most significant losses during these gambling episodes. The off-screen antics of the actors added another layer to the already eccentric and comedic ambience of the film. This peek behind the curtain offers a glimpse into the camaraderie and leisure activities that colored the making of this iconic comedy. As we bid adieu to this virtual space, I urge you to ponder the timeless wonder that is it's a mad, 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 mad world. Delve into your memories, embrace the laughter, and let the essence of this cinematic gem resonate within you. Reflect on the riotous chase across the landscapes, the peculiar yet endearing characters, and the unfolding madness that is both comedic and strangely insightful. Allow the film's zany antics to unfurl the tapestry of your own experiences, perhaps revealing unexpected connections or triggering fond recollections. Consider sharing your unique insights, anecdotes, or musings inspired by this masterpiece. Your thoughts hold value, adding layers to the collective appreciation of this cinematic marvel. Let your voice join the chorus of admirers, perpetuating the legacy of this classic. Your participation fuels the perpetuity of the film's magic, ensuring its impact endures across generations. Thank you for investing your time and thoughts in this cinematic voyage. Your engagement enriches the ever-expanding narrative woven by admirers like you. Gratefully, 